What's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're doing the next video in my Grand Turismo 3 rival series. We are going to be doing the Battle of the Roofs today, which is the Roof CTR2 and the Roof RGT. We'll be going through both of them and talking about each one. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Hoping to get there by the end of the year. And as of right now, only 8% of my viewers are subbed. It's low. <laughs> We'd like to get that a little high. But anyway, so what I, if you're new to the channel, what I do is I have a rival series in this game. Basically, certain cars, because G Polyphony didn't have a lot of uh, time to make a million different cars in this game, they focused on graphics, which I 100% agree with. Because uh, this game still looks amazing. They basically set up little ri mini rivals between cars in the game, and it kind of worked very, very well and allows for a lot of replayability in this game, which is why I still play Grand Theft Auto 3. Even though it is 20 years old, actually more than 20 year old, 20 years old at this moment, at the time of this recording. Um, so they, I hadn't really done one like this before where it's in the same make because roofs are kind of like unique in this way because roofs are just tuned up Porsches and it was the way for Polyphony to add Porsches into a Grand Turismo game when Need for Speed still had the rights to Porsche. So they were using roof, which is essentially Porsche. It, I mean, it's really, it got so far that they would even say things like, "We are the roofs are a tuner of a very famous German supercar." It's like they're just they couldn't say the word Porsche in these games. And then in GT6, they could start to say Porsche, but they still didn't like, uh, still didn't like. I don't know how they were allowed to say Porsche in that in that game. I guess because they didn't have any Porsches in the game, they could say Porsche, but they didn't say Porsche until GT6, as far as I'm concerned. But they didn't use Porsche until, obviously, Sport. Um, and they brought Roof back, which was awesome. Now they brought Roof back because I was like, come on, put keep the roofs in there. Just They were the trademark. And bring back the old ones from GT2 that they just never brought back. What's up with that? Anyway, all right, so if you're new to the channel, what I do is I compare cars in my rival series. I do other things, but this is the rival series. I go through, I talk about each of the cars in the game that I'm talking about in the video and talk about their rivals, which one I think is the best one to use. And then we do an AI comp competition and then I do a max speed test at the end of the video. Timestamps are all below. So uh, we're talking about the roof CTR2 first. As I've been somehow managing able, I was until now I was able to keep this car on the road. The roof CTR2 is the older version of the RT, RGT is essentially the updated version of the CTR2. I don't know what they're based on. It's the Porsche 9 something. 99, ugh, tell me what it is in the comments below. I don't remember what they're called. I think it's a 993, maybe? 996 something? I don't know. But it's the Porsche that was out in the 90s. Looks great, sounds great. Um, what I've noticed in this game is obviously the roof RGT is tuned up, can get higher in speed, but untuned, the CTR2 is so much faster in a straight line compared to the RGT. It's like shocking to the point that even with 800 horsepower compared to the 1,000 of the RGT, the CTR2 is incredible. It's shocking how good this car is, but it's super uh, hard to control. And that's probably because it's a 90s Porsche as opposed to an early 2000s Porsche. There's a lot of upgrades and technology in that time. But the power of the CTR2 is shocking. It is very efficient in its power. Its top speed is great, even when it's, though its max speed is, or its uh, max horsepower is less than the RGT. It's crazy how much faster the CTR2 is power. Like it's efficient in its power, it's shocking. So the CTR2 is, and you'll see it in the AI battle too. The CTR2 is extremely fast, extremely fast. Um, so this is kind of a unique, Rival series video because of the fact that usually in the rival series video there is a car that is the faster out of control one and there is a slower more handling one but the powers usually match that that's the thing that's unique about the roofs is the roof CTR2 is the faster powerhouse car in a straight line but has worse handling but it also has less horsepower I don't even know how that is possible. If someone wants to explain how that's even possible, I have no idea. Apart from the fact that the 90s Porsches were really efficient in their power. That's all I can think to say. Um, but the Roof CTR2 is very efficient in its power, extremely fast, but does have, it suffers tremendously in the handling department, which is not surprising one little bit. Um, they both sound great, sound different, but they both are amazing in their sound. They both look incredible. I mean, I, I like the, 
charm of the 90s Porsches, or sorry, roofs in this game. So I think I just like the 90s look because of straight up aesthetic, but uh, the they both look good in different ways. I think they both sound great. I think I lean the sound of the 90s Porsche. I think it just sounds a little bit more raw, which again, I think that's part of the reason why the power is so efficient. But um, this car is fantastic. Looks so good. And it's, I think, the only Porsche, if I'm not mistaken, that returned from uh, Gran Turismo 2. There was like seven in Gran Turismo 2, and they were all cut in three. I don't understand why they did that. I mean, they added a few new ones, which was great. But they couldn't have brought back all the... Like, the Turbo R was awesome. There was one all-wheel drive roof that was in GT2, too. I think that was called the RCT? I can't remember, but... There was like so many good roofs in GT2 and they never brought them back. So I'm glad the CTR2 made a comeback, but can't believe they didn't bring back all the other ones. Anyway, uh, y'all are awesome. Enjoy this video. Hope y'all are enjoying it so far. We'll go to the uh, roof our GT at, right now. All right. Now we're onto the roof RGT. As I'm sure y'all are well aware at this point, because this game is 20 years old, there is a Porsche uh, 996, I believe, GT3, which is this car's very heavily, I mean, it's basically the same car without the badging. That's literally like they just changed the badging. It's the same car. But there was a Porsche 996, I believe, which is the owner of Polyphony. I think his name is, I can't remember his name. But he owns a 996 Porsche, which they put in this game, and they were going to sneak it in. But then, obviously, they can't. So they have... It's still like a hidden car with the body of a Daihatsu in the North American version. I think it's actually playable through cheat codes in other versions of this game. But the roofed RGT looks exactly like it. It's essentially the same car, but it's the roof variant. So they were going to... They, I mean, they snuck it in anyway. I think you can still get this car in that yellow. He has it in yellow in real life. So they were like, we got to put it in. Which I think is why... They put roofs in in the first place. He had that. They liked putting the cars that people owned in these games. So like, yeah. Um, anyway, so this is the roof RGT though. It's not the actual Porsche, even though it is. It. I mean, it sounds like it, looks like it, has the same colors, all that stuff. But it's technically not. Um, but it's the roof RGT. Again, way more horsepower, so I'm actually going to have a harder time controlling this thing. But it is uh, generally the better handling of the two roofs in this game of the, the top tier. The 3400S is also in this game, but it's like a Porsche Boxster or whatever that is. So that car is in the game and it is great, but it's not in the same class to me as these two cars. These cars are basically in a league all their own. Um, they're amazing cars. So, uh, the Roof RGT is very, very fast, modern, good looking car, very, very sleek, very stylish, very fast, modernized, a little bit more. Obviously, there are more modern Porsches than this now, but at the time, this was the newest Porsche that was out. Um, it's a great car, looks great. I got it in silver. I don't know why. I think that was the prize. I got it as a prize car because I don't think I would pick silver. It's kind of, I would pick the yellow. I don't know why I would have picked silver. So maybe I did buy this car and just picked the silver for some weird reason. I don't know why I would have done that. I don't think I did do that because of the fact that I got the CTR2 also in silver. I feel like I would not have picked, <laughs> wouldn't it? Maybe I did, maybe I did. But uh, these cars were very good. Um, there's only one race that I can think of where these two cars race each other too, and it's the endurance race. So I'm probably going to do like 10-ish laps of the... You'll see, this will be a thing I'm going to mention too. I uh, The RGT has better pit. The tires don't wear as badly on the roof, roof RGT, which so that's going to actually play a part in this video. Some of the times I don't have that play much of a part, but it is going to play a part in this video. You'll see that the CTR2's tires wear much faster than the RGT's, which would also make sense. Modern or more modern car would have better tire wear. Um, I'm having a hard time keeping this car on the road, though. I'm not going to lie. So, but yeah, the RGT is very good. I don't mind my driving. I think it's going to be obvious that the RGT does have better handling. You'll see it in the AI battle for sure. Um, and... The CTR2 is faster, but the handling does make a big difference. Uh, you'll see that on straights, the RGT or the CTR2 gets faster compared to the um, 
gosh, I cannot control this car. <laughs> I didn't think I would stay on the grass like that. It just drifted. I just drifted this roof. That's pretty sick. But I just took it out for a rally. <laughs> it's basically a rally car for a second there. It's pretty great. But um, yeah, this car is very good. <laughs> Goodness, I'm just not able to keep this car on the road though. So I still will stand by what I say because you'll see it with the AI. Uh, it's a little bit harder to control because this car does have 200 extra horsepower fully tuned. So I think that's going to be have a part to play in my difficulty controlling it. And but that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm still going to stand by the same statement that if you want the harder to drive car that's faster in a straight line, it's going to be the Roof CTR2. If you want the more more handling oriented car, um, it's going to be the Roof RGT. It is a little bit more blurry because of the fact that the Roof RGT fully tuned has over a thousand horsepower, which is insane. But the CTR2 is extremely efficient in that power, so I still would uh, categorize the Roof RGT as the... Um, I do think the brakes of the RGT are surprisingly bad, so I will say that. I didn't think they'd be that bad, but they seem to be pretty bad. Because <laughs> I feel like I just can't... I can't control the car on corners as well. But also I can't break and like break through the corner. So I think I actually had a better time with the CTR2. So don't mind that. Um, the RGT is beautiful. Great car. I think it has better handling. I just didn't do a great job with it. And also I think its brakes are not as good as the CTR2. So I'll give, I'll give the RGT the narrow, very narrow. Yeah, look at those brakes. Those brakes are terrible. Okay, yeah. So I'll give the brakes to the CTR2. Handling to the RGT power to the RGT when it's fully tuned, but to the CTR2 and their stock, handling to the RGT, I said that, sound probably to the CTR2. I think I'd honestly prefer the CTR2, but you have to respect the RGT is probably the better car, but I think it's just only straight line speed can do you so much. So I think the uh, CTR2 is slightly worse, but way more fun to drive in my opinion. So now we'll move to the AI battle. All right, so here we go. This is a good AI race between, I love this endurance race, by the way. This is one of the funniest endurance races ever because everybody's tire wear is so shockingly everywhere on this one. It's amazing. So we have the Roof RGT, uh, the Roof CTR2, and we have me. I, of course, picked the 3400S. Why would I not? Uh, just to make it like a roof off, I guess. So Roof CTR2 getting pushed, pushing the RGT out, then the Nismo pushing him. It's ridiculous. A lot of great AI just pushing each other all over the place. Hopefully get a, get a thumbnail out of those shots. But uh, yeah, so the Roof RGT is uh, faster only because of the handling of the car. Handling of the CTR2 is much worse, obviously. But um, speed of the RG, R CTR2 is incredibly high. So I'll show you how much faster the CTR2 is here. So the RGT gets up to, in the we'll see what it gets up to. I'll show it. Okay, well I, I showed, okay, well I didn't show the other one. But the CTR2 gets faster on the straight by the end of the straight compared to the RGT. But his handling is so much worse, which is what we kind of talked about already. So I'll show it, I'll try to show it here, but we'll see if I can actually do this. But, um... Yeah, so the CTR2 just doesn't have the handling, has the speed, but I picked Super Speedway because I was like, this is a good balance where you can see how much faster he is as he accelerates. So the RGT goes so much faster through the corner, but then as you watch him accelerate, you know, he may get to a higher top speed, but the CTR2 is accelerating much faster. So that's kind of why I picked this one. Also, this race is so funny to me because, I mean, what tires does this... Tom's chaser have on that after three laps he's like well gotta gotta go in the pit like that midget Mugen 2000 S2000 has like look at this this they're like right next to each other look at this difference that's insane so anyway the Nismo GTR LM road car is just kind of chilling there in the middle of them but yeah the when you see the it's just not even a contest between the handling characteristics of the RGT compared to the CTR2 but um obviously the CTR2 is just so fast. I mean, it's crazy how much faster the CTR2 is. That going 20, I mean, the, the RGT is going about 135 at the end of that corner of the super speedway. The R, CTR2 is going about 115, so he's about 15 miles an hour slower than him.
but they both are hitting 166 at the breaking point. That just that that's got to put it in perspective for people. Like that is crazy how much faster the RGT is coming out of this corner compared to the CTR2 and they hit the same speed coming out of that. That is insane to me. Like what a huge huge difference between these two cars in terms of handling but then the speed is so different. I mean, that's all you got to say. That's all she wrote. So, I mean, again, I think the RGT looks really great. I think the RGT looks better. The CTR2 has just the nostalgia of being a 90s Porsche, but I think it's just so so obvious, you know, like which one to me is the better of the two. The Tom's Chaser comes out of the pit, rolling up in last place. Terrible, awful. Um, obviously the Nismo and the CTR2 are, ba are basically gonna pit at the same time, but yeah, I mean, it's just it's just not even a contest. But again, I enjoy driving the CTR2 more. I think the RGT obviously is the better car. It's a more modern version, but I just I just wanted to specify how much faster the CTR2 is. It's shocking that stock and even fully tuned, they are they are competitors in terms of speed when they like shouldn't be in any way. <laughs> it's just it's just interesting to me. And then, yeah, this Tom's X540 Chaser is the real terrible car of this group. Even though the Tom's X540 Chaser is faster than this Mugen S2000 in like every way, the Mugen S2000's tire wear is like non-existent. Like the Mugen, it like, it takes a while for that Mugen to pit, like a while. And then there's other, there's like a Spoon S2000 that's the same. And then there's like a Trials uh, S2000 that are like, or sorry, Trial Celica that are all in the same boat of just like never needing to pit, which is hysterical to me. But um, yeah, Mugen S2000 is very good, very slow. And then the RGT obviously is the probably the fastest car in this game. The best car in this race is the Motorsport Elise because he just never pits and he's slower than the RGT, but not enough. I mean, this, this race to me is so fascinating because it's like a pit challenge because the pitting is so, like that just run into him. Oh no, the RGT ran into him. Okay. Okay, so he's already lapped. That's pretty bad. But um, obviously the RGT hasn't pitted yet, so it's not like, I'm not concerned about it. But um, yeah, that's just like, it's so crazy to me how much faster the CTR2 is. I mean, I know that they were obviously, the 90s and 2000s genre in my mind is the like handling improvement time in like cars. It seems like a lot of cars didn't get that much faster between the 90s and 2000s, but their handling got way better, which is why you see this, like, jump in, like, shortening times on races, because you see that a lot with this. So, again, it's very interesting stuff. I don't know. But, yeah, there's the, uh, the roof getting lapped was a bummer, but he's going to, like... This is how long, this is why this race is so funny too, is because they randomly, and they didn't do this on GT4, they just did it in GT3. They had the pit lane on the back straight and it went all the way around and then you come back out on the back straight again. That is so weird to me that they did that. I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea. For just GT3, they obviously didn't do that anymore. They changed it for four and onward. I think they used Super Speedway after four, but uh, they had other circuits that they they had like the real life version. What is it like Indy Indianapolis or something like that? They just made a oval circle that way. But they were it was just before they got the rights. You know that's all that it is. But um, yeah. So they're all coming back around to, to unlap. They unlap themselves from the roof RGT and they're coming back around to catch up to him. But then I also went into the pit too. So again, this was just to show my point and I think this was a good circuit to do I think they actually do have other AI races between these two cars but I just went ahead and did this one because I think this race showcases the speed difference between the roof RGT and the CTR2 but also the massive difference in handling so after this we'll move on to the max B test I won't talk during those they'll speak for themselves but thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed the video hope this has been educational send me some requests let's do this thing peace